Hi, my name is Ale, and in this video we're going to learn how to use a color picker and a text editor using Swift UI. With iOS 14, Apple introduced a new native color picker, so that means you don't have to build one of your own or use an open source picker. You can select a color using a grid, spectrum, sliders, or with the eyedropper tool. With iOS 14, Apple also introduced a new text editor, which well, is just what the name says it is. Let's start working on our app. We're going to need a variable to keep track of the text in the text editor. Add state private bar text equal to, you can start with any string you want here. I'll add type your story here. Now let's start adding the UI. We're going to embed the content of our app in a navigation view. So let's get rid of this text and add a navigation view. And the first thing we're going to add is the text editor, text editor, which needs a binding to a string. So we'll pass in dollar sign text and we're going to add some padding around our editor. Cool, so this is pretty much all it takes to add a text editor to an app. So let's run it and see how it looks. As you can see, we have our initial string that says type your story here. And if we tap on it, the keyboard appears and we can delete text and type anything we want. Cool. And we can return to add a new line. Now, one problem here is that we can't dismiss the keyboard. So let's go back to Xcode and add a function that will allow us to drag down and have the keyboard disappear. To do this, the first thing we're going to have to do is add an extension to the UI application. Extension UI application. We're going to add a function that we're going to call end editing. func end editing with a, par a boolean parameter called force. which just tells us whether we should force end the edit. What we're going to do here is find all the windows of our app and filter the key window. And from here, we're going to call the end editing function of the window. So let's add self.windows.filter we're going to try to find the key window. From here, we're going to take the first key window. And if we're able to get it, then we're going to call end editing on the window and pass the force parameter. Now, what we're going to do is go back to our text editor and add a gesture. We're going to add a drag gesture so that when the user drags down, the keyboard is dismissed. We're going to use the gesture modifier dot gesture. And here we're going to provide our drag gesture. Now, when this gesture ends, we want to check the direction of the drag. So the drag could go from left to right or from right to left, uh, from top to bottom or bottom to top. And we only want to dismiss the keyboard when the user drags down. So we're going to call the onEnded function. This function provides us a value. And from this value, we can check where the drag gesture started and where it ended. And if we find the difference, we can get the delta y position. 
And depending on this delta y, then we can decide whether we should end the editing. So let's calculate delta y. Let delta y be equal to value dot location dot y minus the start location value dot start location dot y. If this delta y is greater than zero, then that means that the user dragged down. And so here, what we're going to do is call UI application dot shared dot end editing, and we want to force the end editing. So let's run our app and see if now we can dismiss the keyword. Cool, so we see our text. We can type something. And now if we drag down, we can see that the keyboard is dismissed. Let's try and drag up. In that case, the keyboard shouldn't be dismissed. The same for the sides, only when we drag down. Perfect. So we can type some text, but now we want to be able to change the color of this text. And for this, we're going to use a color picker. So let's go back to Xcode and add the necessary code to implement our color picker. The first thing we're going to need for our color picker is a variable to keep track of the color that is selected. So let's add a state variable at state private var color, which will be of type color. And initially this color will be black, the black. Cool. So we're going to add the color picker to our navigation bar. And to do that, we're going to make some modifications to our navigation view. So below our text editor, we're going to add navigation bar items. So let's add navigation bar items. And we're only going to use the trailing items. And here, is where we're going to add our color picker. For the title, I'm gonna provide an empty string. I don't want uh, the picker to show a title. And for the selection, I'm going to provide the state variable that we defined for the color using the dollar sign color. I'm also gonna change the title of our navigation bar using the navigation bar title modifier, navigation bar title, and I'm gonna add the title color, and I'm also gonna add a display mode that will be the inline display mode. That way it will show the shorter or smaller ver version of the navigation bar. So now that we have our color picker in the navigation bar, we have to actually use the selected color to modify the color of the text in our editor. And to do this, we're going to add the foreground color modifier below our text editor. And the color here will just be the state variable that we defined earlier. Cool, so let's run our application again and see how it looks. So as you can see, we still have our text editor with our initial string, but now we also have the navigation bar, which is the smaller version with the title color. And we see a color picker here in the top right corner. If we tap on it, the color picker appears and we have three different options. We can use sliders, a spectrum or a grid to select the color that we want to use. So as we select colors, you can see that the color of the text in our text editor is changing, as well as the color in the color picker preview button. So we can use any color that we want, and we can dismiss or close the color picker, and the color of our text editor is changed. So now we can type something new. and it should still be using the color that we selected in our color picker. And 
as we showed earlier, we can drag down and dismiss the keyboard. Perfect. So that's all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you want to learn more about iOS development with Swift and Swift UI, make sure to subscribe to my channel as I'll be posting a new video very soon.